so in this video we are going to see how we can configure a fury tile for gui transaction or any ac38 report so in our last video we have seen a tile configured for sap ui5 application here we will be adding a new tile here so when user click on that tile ac38 report will be executed inside the fury launchpad so for that let's go to our sap system and i have already created a very simple demo application here which is uh, fury tile demo and if we execute it uh, this is a simple string operation so abc df and if i execute it it shows me some left justification right justification some very simple report so this report we want to attach to fury launchpad so for that let's go to go back to our fury launchpad and uh, click on this fury launchpad designer when you click on this button we will land up onto this screen which uh, where we already have created a catalog and a group respectively so in the catalog so we need to create a semantic object for that we will again go to our transaction and uh, let's edit it and uh, copy so semantic object report let's copy this Report. So our semantic object is now ready. Click on save and add it to transport. So this is our semantic object and we again need to refresh this. Now again go to tile, click on the launch and GUI transaction. Select any icon here get the semantic object obj report and action would be display and click on save button so our tile is created now let's create the target mapping for this create a target mapping and get the semantic object report action would be display and uh, in place of application type here you see sap ui5 fury application you have a couple of different options here so here you need we need to provide the transaction so we haven't created the transaction for this report let's go to sc38 First, take the report name and now go to AC93 to create a new transaction here. Our transaction would be ZGOI ZGOI report say and create GUI report. And here we will select program and selection screen. Click on OK and provide the program name here. Whatever you want to execute onto this transaction. Now, one important thing is you need to select on this one. Uh, I'm selecting all of three, but this is the main which we need to check. And click on save. Let's save it and execute the transaction. So our transaction is now working fine. Let's copy the transaction name and provide it here. GUI transaction. And uh, that's it. Click on save. We got, we got our record created. Let's see 
if we have the transaction okay gy report click on save so this is done now we need to go to group click on group and uh, click on the tile and search for the catalog and here you go you see the new tile here click on the plus button and your tile has been added here so in this transaction since this catalog and group is already been added to a role which we have already seen in our last video so we are not going to add those to a new role we will be using the same role now go to coding means our custom group click on refresh and uh, here you go you see a new tile here and when you click on this see your sc 30 transaction is now ready here let's uh, provide some string please subscribe to code events and uh, click on the execute see you see the output now here for the sc38 report so that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you